What's up, my fellow strong kayak fishermen who like to dominate the water, like to dominate the kayak, and dominate the fish? One of the coolest things about kayak fishing, to me at least, is being one with nature and going mano a mano against the fish and the environment. Without needing a powered motor to get on fish, I'm all about using good old fashioned manpower to catch fish. So, being that I love to use manpower to put me on the fish, I want to have as much manpower as I possibly can. So I'm all about ways to increase our manpower, you know, or woman power, to put us on more fish. The way we do that is building our kayak muscle strength and endurance by designing workouts that replicate the way we use our muscles on the water in our kayak. And the most important kayak muscles we need to focus on for getting more fish is our paddling or pedaling muscles to cover as much water as possible as fast as possible. Now I know I'm preaching to the choir here. But there's a lot of reasons we want to cover water faster and or further than the Sunday afternoon picnic on the water kayaker does. You know, one day we might be chasing birds or, or we may want to get on a spot early before the sunrise hits or trying to catch a spot on the perfect tide. Uh, we might be chasing slicks or, or hitting a spot a long ways from our launch and don't want to waste half our day's fishing time just to get there. And then we need to have the strength and endurance left at the end of the day to get back home if we do hit a spot that's far from our launch. Hell, we may need to haul ass to get away from a thunderstorm rolling in on us. So today, I'm going to show you the best machine known to man for building our kayak pedaling strength and endurance, and it's the good old recumbent bike. Not an upright bike or, or a regular bike because they don't put you in a seated kayak position like a recumbent bike does. And we don't want to hop on the bike and just go for a leisurely ride around the block either. We want to improve our pedaling strength in our kayak, so we need to act like or replicate we would pedal out on the water in the kayak. And the best way to do that is interval training, intervals, meaning we pedal at a steady pace for a while and then periodically we crank up the resistance and go hard for shorter sprints or bursts. Just like, you know, if we were out looking for fish, you know, we may be cruising a flat, look over and see the birds working a mile away or, or see bait jumping on the other side of the bay. So we need to get up and get there before the action stops. And that's when we go into sprint mode, or at least, you know, a fast mode. Then when the action stops, we may start cruising the flat again. You know, so, so it's pretty self-explanatory. But I'm going to give you all a demonstration of how to do interval training on the recumbent bike. Okay. So I'm rolling along, covering a flat for about 10 minutes. And I look up and see birds working a half a mile from me. So I get it. I crank up the resistance. Pedal as hard as I can for about three minutes, you know, about as long as it would take. Get up on the birds, slow it down, get my rod out, cast out, and boom, reel it in, 30 inch trout. Take a pick, and since I scattered the fish fighting that gator trout, it's time to move on. Put my rod back up, get cruising for about two minutes, and oh yeah, I see bait flipping about three quarter mile away. Crank it up. This time it takes me like five minutes to get there. Roll up on them, cast out, and boom, 27 inch red. Snap a pick. Then get to cruising. Just put, up, just put my red back. Next thing I look up and I see a flounder about a quarter mile away. I caught the red so fast I only got like a minute's rest, but it's go time. So I go all out for two minutes. Coming up on that where I saw that flounder jump, ease on up, cast, boom, seven pound saddle blanket, Texas slam a bama baby. Now if I could just make that happen in real life. But hey, you get the idea. If your kayak pedal muscles aren't strong, you're going to miss those wall hangers because you won't get there fast enough or you won't even bother trying. And you know the old saying, you never know till you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, get kayak strong so you can dominate the water, dominate the kayak, and dominate the fish. Tight lines.